Hey, welcome to another video. I'm going to try something that I don't know if it's going to work or not, but that's sort of the idea, right? Come out and experiment and see what'll work, what won't work. I'm at the local park. There's a lot of trees. I wish that, even though it's a beautiful park, I wish sometimes there weren't quite as many trees because it's really hard to get separation with just one, which is what I prefer to do when I'm shooting infrared. Now, I'm not gonna shoot just infrared. I want to try and shoot long exposure with the uh, case magnetic filters and see how much that affects or not the infrared. So that's today's experiment and um, a lot of people driving around. Some of them might end up getting in the image in a long exposure because this uh, area of the park is also an exercise area where they have different stations where you can stop and and do different things so we'll see what happens there but anyway I'm out in the park in case you're wondering yes I have my Dolphins hat on even though they've lost two in a row you're always still gonna be a fan right so anyway let's uh, see what we can find I've got two compositions in mind let's go to the first one here's the first composition I'm trying to isolate that tree as much as possible and the reason why I want to try a long exposure a is just to see if what the filters do to the infrared but B I want to smear those clouds a little bit but uh, I'm going to use a 50 millimeter the Nikon um, Z lens I'm going to shoot it at f8, ISO 64, and I'm going to put a 10-stop uh, filter on it. So whatever the shutter speed turns out to be, that's what it'll be. So I'm going to try one or two of those. I also already shot a couple without the filter, um, just to have a record of what it'll look like. So here we go. I'm going to get set up and take the photograph. And of course, as Mother Nature does, there's clouds everywhere, right? Clouds all over in the sky, except for the tree. There's clouds everywhere, except for the tree that I'm trying to photograph and smear the clouds. Well, so, we'll wait it out a few minutes, see if some of them will move. Okay, as you can see, I'm now back in my office on the computer, and we have uh, both images up on the screen. Both were shot with the same camera, which is a Nikon Z50. Both were shot with the same lens, which was the Nikon uh, 50 millimeter one8 Z lens. I tried to shoot them time-wise as close as possible, but there was a, a minute or two difference. Just because the one was handheld, I was wandering around looking for composition, and I shot the one on the left first, <clears throat> which is without any filter. The I used the case magnetic neutral density filters. The one on the left has no filter and it was shot at f5 at I think 1 250th of a second. Each were shot at ISO 100 because that's the lowest ISO for the Z50. The one on the right has a 10 stop magnetic the case magnetic filter on it and uh, I think that particular image was at three seconds so that's why there's shake in the leaves because it was a little windy and the light was changing all the time because of the clouds were blowing 
but you can see to me there's not a, a big difference once you account for at least in my eye once you account for the fact that the sun was shifting <clears throat> so it's a little bit brighter the exposure was a little bit um, obviously different because of the filter but also the sun came out a little bit more for the second image there seems to be a little bit more of a cooler cast a little bit more blue with the filter but I think with a little bit of adjustments you could for the most part make them look the same so the bottom line is that I don't think that the filters affect the infrared too much I'm going to if you hang on here I'm going to go into post and work on both images and see if in the end they both pretty much look the same so that's the conclusion on the first image now I didn't film the second composition I just goofed but let me bring those up I'll show you the second images and we'll compare them as well okay so again both of these are straight out of camera I didn't do any edits the one on the left has no filter was shot at f8 1 2 of a second the one on the right was shot with the 10 stop filter and it was at f8 and 13 seconds both were ISO 100 and again to my eye the one on the left has a little bit more yellow the one without the filter and the one on the right has more of a blue cast so there is some difference I don't think it's major again I think in post you can eliminate a lot of it uh, we'll find out once I start doing the edits to the infrared however there is a little bit of a difference and I think that comes with all neutral density filters or at least most of them there's going to be a little bit of a color cast but the point was that I was trying to see if you can really do long exposures with infrared and neutral density filters and I'd have to say yes because my idea was I wanted to do some seascapes later down the road and I wasn't sure if I'd be able to do it with infrared or not but it looks like I should be able to do it let's hold on and I'll be back in a minute and we'll actually process a couple of them and see if we can make them look pretty much the same I'm going to use the second image just because the first one with just the tree it, it I didn't like the long exposure one the leaves were just I couldn't find one that I liked the leaves on the tree so we're gonna go with this one the second image this is the one without a filter and um, first thing you need to do is set up your your profile I already have a profile for the Nikon Z50 there are uh, other videos that tell you how to make a profile for your camera if you don't have one what it's really doing it's moving this slider before you set up your profile this slider is pretty much up against it for the blue and this allows you to go back and um, you know use your, use your blues better you could also go in and set a white balance if you want there's a few different ways you can go about this one way if you want to make it look a little different which I'm not going to do here but I'll show you what I mean you can lower your texture your clarity and play with your dehaze and then you give it more of a a mystical look if that's what you're after so that's just one way of, of doing these sometimes I like that and then I go into Photoshop and the first thing you can do if you want which I tend to do 
is swap your red and your blue channels. when you're working in infrared. And that's how you get more of your infrared look. And then you can go in, check your levels. So let's put this one aside for now. All right, here's one with the filter, with the 10 stop filter. This was at uh, F8, 13 seconds. And let's uh, get the right profile. I'm not thrilled with all the movement in the leaves. But the bottom line is we're really testing for the filter and not necessarily trying to come up with a portfolio image. So we'll do the same thing. We'll swap the red and blue channels, adjust the levels, and then we'll compare them and see what we get. This still has more of a yellow. This still has more of a pink. Now again, we could probably adjust that and get them closer to being the same just by I bet we can Slightly different. There's still a little bit of a different cast on them, but they're pretty close. Uh, so the bottom line in our little experiment here is with the case magnetic filters, you, you can use them for, for infrared. It seems like you will get a little bit different color cast to them as you will with most neutral density filters, but it wasn't nearly as different as what I thought could possibly, it could happen. So if you want to do seascapes or that type of thing where you're trying to do long exposure and flatten out the water, you can do it. I mean, I learned something. I hope you learned something as well. I appreciate you hanging in there for this video. And if you learned something or if you like something, please like and subscribe. I'm going to do these little experiments from time to time just for my own creative knowledge and I like to share that with you. So take good care of yourselves until next time. Happy holidays. It's that time of the year since I'm filming this in December. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever you celebrate. Have a good one. Take care of yourself.